War Eagle as Auburn ventured down to Cancun, Mexico for the Cancun Challenge. I thought it would only be appropriate to act like I was there. Uh, it would be nice right about now. They go straight semifinals now. So there's two different brackets, which I still don't understand. So instead of having three games, you're having two. Well, Auburn opened against Bradley Braves from the Missouri Valley, which is one of the higher mid-majors. So it's a higher major and mid, instead of a mid-mid-major. And honestly, it was just a one-sided game start to finish. And Auburn did what you're supposed to do. Came out, dominated. It was 12-2 to two opening up. And they never looked back, winning 85-64. Five different Tigers scored in double digits. That's always a good thing. Broom, back from his one-day bone bang-up injury. So he was back, leading the scores with 14. Grant Green had 14. KD had 13, and only two or three of his shots looked extremely rushed. Flanagan added another 12. So it's just balanced scoring all around. Jalen Williams, I think, scored 11 and then nothing the rest of the game. <laughs> he might have scored the first 11, it seemed like. He had definitely the first two, two three-pointers when we were on that 12-2 opening run. So it was just total one-sidedness, which we kind of were hoping and expecting, but that's definitely what came through. My only frustration is Dylan Cardwell did not goaltend that ball. Uh, when he pins it against the back basket. That should have been a block. Broom gets credit for a block later that he did take off of the backboard. So, unfortunately, the, the nation's leader in blocks got a total of zero. But Cardwell had a good game still. Six points, another eight rebounds. It was a one-sided affair. Team shooting was at a uh, season high, which was needed. <laughs> shooting 50%, 56% from the field, and then eight three-pointers and 47%, not our standard normal 25%. And then second game in a row, 75% free throws. Once again, it doesn't matter who your opponent is. If you're making 75% of your team free throws, you're doing mostly something right. They only turned the ball over 13 times. Unfortunately, lately, they've been averaging closer to 20, so they cut down their turnovers. But again, it was a one-sided affair, and Bradley had not much to, to offer in return. A couple of shooters early, but it was just too much Auburn the rest of the way through. They play again tomorrow night. So 8.30 Eastern time, 7.30 Central time, they play the winner of the Liberty Biberty game against Northwestern. Wouldn't surprise me if Northwestern is the favorite. But Liberty could win their conference this year, so watch out for them. We'll, we'll be back again tomorrow night to give you the Cancun fully wrap-up of this little mini-tournament that's going on, get some neutral wins under their belt, and, and just build their tournament resume. Again, all wins are big wins. There's something like 60 teams remaining in the nation that remain undefeated. After two weeks of basketball, that's it. So. 330-some teams, down to 60 after two weeks. Auburn's doing something right. Just stay with it. What are your thoughts of the game? Was it completely one-sided like you thought? Did you enjoy it? Who are your key players of the game that you what impressed you the most? Let us know. So subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks.